So when singularity happens, literally you won't need to learn anything. Anything that you want to know can be actually downloaded into your brain. Like they say, I mean, it's it's like sequence of many small innovations finally adds up to what we end up seeing yeah. it as a breakthrough technology. Yes. Today we have uh, technologies of the gods, right? And, and something seems to be coming from the future, but we have mindsets from the medieval times. Most scientists are not used to taking targets. They are very happy writing papers, but they're not happy creating products. So that's the change that we are bringing in National Quantum Mission. When we launched it with all the scientists sitting in a big hall, the first thing I said, guys, you got to change. We promoted the whole idea of startups and we created a startup program in quantum which is unheard of in, in government. And therefore, to protect ourselves in future for technology sovereignty, we need to have a soft, full software stack. The world is no longer about how many armaments you have. The world is all about what technology you have. Right. And the wars will be fought with technology. Economics is guided by technology. Combination of AI and quantum is going to be the biggest breakthrough that you can think of. Because AI and quantum together will actually solve many, many problems of the world than either quantum on its own or AI can solve. So what we are doing in the National Quantum Mission is coming out with a policy and telling people, be prepared for the quantum era, make yourself quantum secure. Absolutely. So quantum security is going to be the highest level agenda for the country in my mind. And what I tell every engineer that I meet, don't be satisfied with the engineering that you are trying to do today. I call it having a range. For example, it's like a T. The top of the T is where you know many other things. The bottom of the T is the depth with which you know one subject. Already the crisis is on us okay. of technology sovereignty. Yeah. We yeah. don't have technology sovereignty. Absolutely. All hardware is Chinese.